From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by Send Out Cards. You can try it now absolutely free at SendOutCards.com slash weird. Alaska Airlines offered free wine to its passengers on Sunday because it was National Drink Wine Day. Okay, now aren't most problems with passengers on airlines due to them being inebriated? So your solution is to offer them free alcohol? The New York Times story finds that the United States is by far the world's most expensive place to give birth. According to the article, the U.S. is also by far the place where you find most obstetricians with the biggest boats. Monday, a day after her controversial rendition of the national anthem, Fergie issued a statement addressing criticism of her performance at Sunday's NBA All-Star Game. She said, "...I've always been honored and proud to perform the national anthem, and last night I wanted to try something special for the NBA." Oh, yeah, it was special, all right. The anthem never sounded sexier. A report says that road trip vacations in the U.S. are on the increase. Well, you know what? After seeing on the news what happens to everyday people on the airlines, can you actually blame us for choosing the station wagon instead? KFC has been forced to temporarily close hundreds of its restaurants in the United Kingdom after a logistics snafu stopped chicken deliveries. About 800 of the company's roughly 900 locations in Britain were closed as of midday Monday. Yeah, you know what? I'm thinking maybe having chicken would be kind of a necessity for KFC. Yeah. Okay, staff, uh, we're out of chicken, so start using the 11 herbs and spices on these seat cushions. And maybe nobody will notice if we make them extra crispy. There are reports that Gibson, the famous guitar maker, is facing bankruptcy. I wonder if that's real guitar bankruptcy or just air guitar bankruptcy. Even though it's winter, Campbell's says that their soup sales are down 7 percent. Well, just do the same thing every other food company does to increase their profits. Start selling pumpkin spice chicken noodle soup, pumpkin spice tomato soup, pumpkin spice split pea soup, ooh, pumpkin spice clam chowder. Harvard researcher Grant E. Donnelly studied more than 4,000 millionaires and came to the conclusion that people with more wealth tend to report being happier with life. Be looking for his findings in an upcoming paper titled Studying the Obvious. William Shatner has signed on with a country music label. That has got to be in the Book of Revelations somewhere. NBC Olympics ratings are sliding, and there's talk this could be the lowest-rated Olympics ever. You know, honestly, I would be fine if they stuck the Olympics on the web and bring back the normal fall-winter programming we were watching TV for to begin with. Monday, the American Political Science Association came out with a new ranking of U.S. presidents for President's Day, and the current White House occupant comes in dead last. The assessment is made by all 170 members of the group made up of Democrats, Republicans, and Independents. See, this is because he is such a huge winner that the top spot isn't winning enough, and so they had to round it right back around to the back of the line just to make room for all of that awesomeness. A new study says that coffee beans are good for birds. Great. Now I'll get to Starbucks and there'll be a flock in front of me. The FDA says a drug used to euthanize animals has been found in canned dog food, and that has prompted a recall. Low levels of the drug pentobarbital were detected in cans of gravy-trained dog food. The FDA says pets that eat pet food containing pentobarbital can experience drowsiness, dizziness, and the inability to stand. Consuming high levels of the drug can cause coma and even death. Okay, where can I get some of that food? That sounds exactly like what is needed from my neighbor's crazy pet chihuahua. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have invited the Obamas to their wedding, but not President and Melania Trump. <sighs> Ouch. On a Transavia airline flight last week from Dubai to Amsterdam, the pilot had to make an emergency stop in Vienna when one of the passengers refused to stop farting. Ironically, once on the ground for the emergency stop, they decided to gas up the plane. In Holland, a man was sent to prison for six weeks for being a fake hairdresser. He said he liked to touch women's hair, so he went door-to-door -door offering free haircuts. 
Problem was, he had no idea what he was doing, and the women ended up with their hair ruined. Okay, word of advice, if somebody is going door to door offering their services, those services were probably not good enough to get a job elsewhere. I mean, would you let a complete stranger give you a pap smear just because he knocked on your door and said he was a doctor? A study in Britain says that money can buy happiness, but only if you have more than your friends and neighbors. Because let's face it, after looking at the way they dress, they obviously don't know where to shop. Democratic California Assemblywoman Christina Garcia has been a big advocate for the hashtag MeToo campaign and now finds herself being accused of the very thing she has taken a stand against. Former A David John Kemick is suing Garcia, claiming she fired him for not wanting to play spin the bottle in her hotel room after a night of heavy drinking at a fundraiser in 2014. So, hashtag me too, too. In a new report, scientists say that activating a certain two sets of neurons in the brains of mice, they were able to transform the docile creatures into savage predators. They say it's the same neurons that are switched on by Antifa activists. When Jess Bolera and Tony Sanchez were planning their wedding in Miami, they decided to skip the traditional white wedding cake and serve a four-tier pizza instead. You gotta wonder what else they changed about this wedding. I mean, maybe the, the garter was exchanged for a plastic zip tie? The bouquet toss traded in the flowers for a six-pack of light beer? Instead of throwing rice, the crowd threw peanut shells, left over from the peanuts they munched on during the actual ceremony. Hey, they could have gone whole hog trailer park with this. Win Dixie and Topps supermarkets are said to be preparing to file for bankruptcy. So the only winning and being on top is at being at the bottom. Environmentalists say that raking leaves is not good for the ecosystem in your backyard and say that yard debris constitutes 13 percent of all the solid waste in the United States every year. The National Wildlife Federation says you should leave dead leaves where they fall since they become a natural fertilizer for your soil. In addition, chipmunks, salamanders, earthworms, turtles, and other small creatures live in the leaves or use them for food and nesting material. And I am immediately printing out this story and saving it for the next time my wife gives me yard work to do. Eh, sorry, honey, but it's bad for the environment. Hey, I'm heading to Arby's. You want something? And just so you can put it on your calendar, World Naked Gardening Day is May 6th. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by Send Out Cards. You don't have to leave the house, you don't have to buy stamps, and you still get a physical card in the mail with whatever message you wish to send. Choose from the hundreds of existing cards or create one of your own, complete with your own photos if you wish. Try it now absolutely free by visiting sendoutcards.com slash weird. That's sendoutcards.com slash weird. Become a patron of the show and get exclusive content just for official weirdos. Get the details at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. And if you like scary true stories, check out my other podcast at WeirdDarkness.com. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Moiler, and I'll see you next time, weirdos.